if, if it's funded, KHRC yeah. does their press release yeah. and it goes out that way. And so I think it would run pretty, I mean, it, it, like I said, it was like hotcakes for us. But again, we're a different market, I understand that. But I think you put that kind of dollar amount out there, if people can figure it out, they're going to figure out a way to get it done, probably. So, um, but again, we, we're a few months away from knowing if we even have a shot at it. All right, well, that will probably come back more formalized. All right, so this is the next thing I'll keep going. Keep going, get on the roll. Um, this, uh, somebody approached uh, well, Heather and myself a couple of months ago about uh, potentially buying two lots up on North Campus uh, to build a home, up there, a spec, a spec home. Um, the conversations I had, again, you know, I'm not, not quite sure, but it sounds pretty serious, like they, the, the person really wants to get moving on it, and uh, uh, if it's successful, wants to kind of keep doing it. Um, it's kind of a win-win for us, I think, because it gets a lot sold, but also gets a house where he's wanting to put it pretty front and center. I mean, it's kind of out in the middle of the development, so I think that would be really helpful. Um, <coughs> the... Uh, um, <laughs> the way he was talking to me, he kind of wants to know, you know, this gets good reaction tonight, and you can get first stream next time, and he wants to go uh, get up in a shell by, by winter time to, to, be, to be built on it. So um, the the uh, rub is going to be, of course, he <coughs> gave him the pricing sheet, and he kind of came back with an offer. So again, that's kind of where we're at, you know, is how he wanted to treat it first, um, because again, he's trying to hit certain price points, and I think that is a real battle, is, um, you know, how do you uh, share a profit, but yet still make it a, somewhat of an affordable new home, I think mean, that's actually a struggle. So, uh, the kind of lots that he is looking at uh, are these two right here, and they're both based on what we have approved, $10,800, okay, so that's out the door, you know, everything's good to go. He has thought to pay impact fees and that stuff if you build the house, but that, that should cover everything, actually including um, uh, kind of talking to, to Ron Swirlier earlier, uh, last couple of days and stuff, you know, what we had incurred for electrical costs, which were never really tacked on, but we have enough uh, room kind of doing my math here that we're, we're, we're fine at that point. <laughs> Problem is, um, basically what this person offered uh, is $8,000 a lot. Um, so it's a little bit lower. I tried to say, hey, if you could you know, maybe at 9,400, I might have a better chance of talking, talking counsel into it. But again, he's trying to do the math and the numbers. And I think if it's successful and going well, he might be more apt to do that. You know, a couple of things I, cause I, what my fear is with this is, of course, you put it 8,000, that's what it's going to be. Um, on the flip side, you know, it's cost, it's going to cost us, just a note for the streets, it's going to cost us about 18, 17, 18 thousand dollars in interest this year. So as we all know, time value of money, it's, that's, that's also important to consider. So, um, you know, part of me says, hey, you can have them at 8,000 if you break ground on a house within a month. And well, you know, we don't know how we structure this contract because <laughs> we've already put that in there 40 different times and you got to, um, you know, break ground in, in a year or two. That's probably hard to kind of hold people to. So that's kind of, you know, and then, you know, you can have it at that price, some sort of way to justify that price, but if, if not, then it's, it's, a, it's a higher amount, or, or, or you just say, hey, no, it's got to be that 10 eight. you know, and I can understand that too, and, and that, that makes sense, but, um, you know, a $10,800 number is kind of what I figured out, extrapolated out, you know, throwing out the initial ones we did on the, this, you know, the Rex roads on that kind of side street, because they're kind of an anomaly. I think everybody else has paid really close to about that 85 cents a square foot of the <coughs> of price of the assessments and everything. So the only way I see to structure that to incentivize to incentivize that would be if you choose a price lower than the 10 a you contract for that. But if they don't build within a month, two months, then they've got to pay the difference, and then their price is 10 a then you sold your lot, you get your all your money, they don't build, they don't build. And, and you set a precedent of, hey, if you are 
if, you know, if you're that motivated that quick, right. we'll sell them to you cheaper. You know, yeah. get them out the door for us and that kind of thing. So I don't it's because I mean, we don't lose any money selling ten eight. I mean, they're not ours; they're off our hands. What stops the next guy from saying, "Oh, I'll give you seven five <coughs> to them"? Uh, you know, are we going to get into a bidding war? And well, it, it doesn't stop anybody from doing that. The, 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 what stops them is if you guys approve it or not. You know, but I think that's it, it, your point is right. And it's the same point I'm saying is at eight, you know, that's kind of going to be the deal. Right. But on the flip side, I think that's why if we could put some teeth in it to say, hey, the only reason we sold at eight is because this guy. Everybody else we sold to has sat on and we haven't done, you know, which is fine. It's, it's the economy mm -hmm. in the market. I get it. I'm not blaming those. Things. I'm just saying, like, that's the only thing I can think of to try to give you know, some sort of justification. So, so, so cheap. to pair it back to you, what the choice is, is, is it a fixed price or is it a negotiable price? The 10, the 10 is basically the question you're asking. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I guess, yeah, it, uh, you're right. It, it, that's, the, that's the price we said it should be, but again, I'm, we're trying to move lots. Yeah, I can't see you on that route. You know, we'll give it to you at eight. You promised to start, you know, if you said that, you start building in two months, we'll give it to you. But, yeah. and if we can enforce that, you know, if they don't build for a year or two years, then that price goes up. I mean, the way to enforce it is if they don't pay, is you, is you have to go to court. Go to court. But that's how you enforce any kind of question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is, yeah. It's but that's, not sure. But I don't see how else you put teeth into that. Yeah. But the, the problem is, you know, it's not a, it's a, it's a buyer market right now. The other one is what we did, they lost their option. And so they like, lost out on the opportunity to buy more. To buy more, but as it turns out, they're not that So then, so then you can put in there X number of days. You have to show us that you're doing something. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Or can we write it so that we can we assess the property the difference, or not waive much of the assessment? Or well, the assessment's already in place by ordinance. I understand. So you know what I'm saying? Like that you can. That's done. Mathematically figure out. Maybe we can waive as much of it as we want. Can we? Uh, we can also was was this grant opportunity mentioned to them as a possibility in that negotiation conversation? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if we if we approve one to eight, and then they go, oh hey, there was this grant opportunity, I think we could have well, got that money anyway. Explain it though. Explain the matter of it is that somebody who's speculating on home you can't do that because the person right. has to have the mortgage in that. Yeah, they have to have the rent in the house. Yeah. The developers in order to apply for it. I mean, what's to say you're speculating if you're, if you're buying a lot from the city and you're going to put the house there because you're going to write down your name on there? I mean, if, you, if you're the applicant, I mean, you just say, okay, I'm not speculating, I'm actually going to move there. Well, yeah, well, and then you sell years. it a year later. Well, you can't because you're going to lose it five years. Yeah. 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 I guess so, one of the things I look at is sometimes for neighborhoods, until you get a few buildings actually in place, <laughs> the market really doesn't start to sell. So getting an initial building or two, yeah. Going, I think, would be beneficial to trying to sell more moving forward because it'll actually be more of a neighborhood versus just an empty place with potential for having homes in neighborhoods. I, I crunched the numbers here, looking at 64 cents a foot, basically, compared to what you said, 80, 85, I'm sorry, so 85, so, and even the 74, so you're talking 20 cents per foot less, approximately. Um, I'm sure getting rid of lots. I am, yeah. but I'm sitting there thinking, see, we just set the 85 cent price in the last 60 days. I mean, I kind of hate to all of a sudden just open the door up for. I guess the reason I'm looking to say yes is because I would like to encourage and see buildings start to go up there. And it would encourage an initial build. And again, I, I've seen that help grow a neighborhood. Right. So, that would prime the bump. Right. And that's, so I, I guess I would be willing to make in this, you know, just to get things going in that development. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's a buyer's market. 
buy or sell a couple of them, try to generate some interest. The market comes back in six months, whatever. We don't have to keep selling them at, yeah. at low rates. We can we can take that back up. Yeah. And but right now, in my opinion, we just need to move some. Yeah. Yeah. We're paying for something. That, and I think that's the important thing to say too, as far you know, for people who may have already bought some, well, you know, they just like any development, you have to have first choice. So there is that premium, or you know, it's just the market's the market sometimes. So you know, trying to balance all those things because we have had people jump in, we have you know, we have the potential to sell a lot more lots, but it's yeah. I mean, in the negotiation, I guess the one thing I'd like to know is how soon are they going to start building, and then hold them to that. I mean, kind of hold They'll be eligible for the neighborhood capitalization on this also, Derek. Where do you think you place around right So have, have they set a time when they would like to start building? They, you know, what somebody says and what's going to happen, I don't know. But yeah, it sounded like September. You know, like they, they want to get the first agreement going and get the contractor over there working on the, the pad right away. So yeah, to me, you need to have a contractor enough for a grand per lot mm -hmm. contingent on building by September 15th. If not started by then, you go to 10-8, you know, or recover the cost between the two. Uh, yeah, but like KU and I were talking, we just don't, we have enough of assessment here, we can leave right. a chunk on there. It doesn't get away. I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah. We've got to leave, but I mean, we've got to get some houses. Yeah. 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 I, mean, <coughs> I mean, how many, it's better somebody else. How many lots do we have sold up there right now that aren't being filled on? Uh, we have. I wish I had a computer. Five. Six, seven. Hold it up your head. Eight. Um, eight. And then I think there's two more, so ten. Well, Clawson. Oh, Clawson. Yeah. Clawson and Mary, I think. So I think ten. Well, 10 and then Rex Roads, you know, a lot of this chunk down here. So I should, that's 13, but there's 35, 34 left. 34 left. And that was three and four in block seven. Is that right? I don't know what this, oh. Is that what we're talking? Um, Did I have that right? Did I put that in there? Oh, it was on the spreadsheet you were looking at. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, six, three, four, block seven. Is the two, yeah, so that those two are not tied. Yeah, yeah it, it's. <laughs> that's what you said. It was. Well, something in my mind is. I think it was. Block set, block seven, four, and three are clauses. I think so. And then I think this individual is up there on block four. Area. I think he gets yeah. a bit of five and six, or four and three, and then one to buy. Yeah, four and three, and if that goes low, buy two and one. Okay, so are the prices the same for those? Then? I'm just wondering. They're within. You can remember to kind of smooth that out. They're real close. I mean, they're going to be just kind of depending on square footage. That's all it's based on. So, uh, but yeah, for those two that he's looking at, yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Block seven, three, and four. So okay. it's ten, eight, both of those things. Okay. Yep. Sorry, it took me. <laughs> well, if, you, if it was actually a fourteen thousand dollar lot, that's where I'm. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It's a ten, eight. I looked at that right away. So I don't know. Well, based on the numbers presented, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would be okay with the board of the eight thousand, um, as long as it is the two ten eight nine yeah. something There's greater than that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Sometimes you think you're going to be. Yeah, they have one or two already. So one and two. So oh, we're yeah, yeah, does anybody one. have a problem with doing this? No. We got to get something over there. Yeah. Any So I'd say that's yeah, the old steam ahead. I mean, I, I can see where Tony's coming from, you know, but I also think that, you know, if they're willing to make a commitment to start within 60 days, I mean, that's worth something to us to get two lots of them. But this economy will turn around. And that'll help everybody. Yeah, I'll just start it up there, especially as you can start the ability to get lower. Maybe it'll spur something. Oh, there was a positive response. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think I have an idea of how to engage.
had a question for you. The, this is pertaining to our farm ground out there. Yeah. Aren't they supposed to have those trees that they nosed out, cleaned up? I suppose. Was there a timeline on that? Yeah, I think we had like three months or something. I don't know. Way past. <laughs> okay. I just, just uh, think we need to follow up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to see that the other day and I thought. Who's, uh, actually, can I ask what, whose pipes are all in there too? Whose ones? For like uh, old uh, pivot arm pipes. There's like tons of them in the woods there along the river. I think those were. The so it looks like on the Google Earth that there used to be a irrigation pipe. Probably like previous guys, guys who farmed that. I was wondering. They, they used, used to be a small pivot. Okay. There used to be a smaller pivot in there with like on the Google Earth. I think they mainly just had gated pipe. I don't remember when I did it. That's right, my bike back in the long time. The city was just our stuff that goes underground. There was a pivot. Yeah, I got a pop pipe. I live in that. That heated pipe is what they, 10 acres that we bought. Okay. I just wanted to sit back there too. 